Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be reading Freckle Face Strawberry and it's written by Julianne Moore. Once upon a time, there was a little girl who was just like everybody else. She was seven. Look, I lost another tooth. She was short. She could ride a bike, not me. She was just like everybody else except for one thing. She had red hair and something worse. Freckles. How she got them was a mystery. Her father didn't have freckles. Her mother didn't have freckles. Her sister didn't have freckles. Her baby brother, oh yeah. He had freckles, but he was just a baby. People always had something to say about her freckles. Hey, what happened to you? You look like you're dotted. If you got more freckles, you would be one big freckle, and that would be a tan. Does it hurt? You look dirty. You look like a giraffe, but a shorter one with freckles. Can I smell them? <laughs> but most of the time, they just said, freckle face strawberry. Freckle Face Strawberry felt really bad. She needed to get rid of her freckles fast. She tried scrubbing them. Get out of the bathroom. She tried lemon juice. You smell funny. She even tried markers, but her mom got mad. I told you never to draw on yourself. I'm wearing makeup. Nothing worked. If she couldn't make her freckles go away, she would just have to hide. It worked. All her freckles were gone. It worked so well, she started wearing it to school. It worked so well, nobody said anything about her freckles anymore. It worked so well, none of her friends knew where she was. Have you seen her? She's short and she can ride a bike. She has freckles all over her body. Freckle Face Strawberry was kind of sad and hot and a little itchy. After school at the playground, she was lonely. Everybody was playing except for Freckle Face Strawberry. She was sitting in the shade wishing she wasn't so hot. Somebody tugged on her shirt. Mama! It was a baby. Freckle Face Strawberry knew about babies because of her little brother. Mama, don't bug me, baby. Mama, I said don't bug me, baby. Wah! All right, I am pretty hot. The baby started to laugh. She laughed and laughed and laughed. Hee <laughs> hee. Hey, what's so funny? Freckles, she loves freckles. She thinks they're funny. They're not, I should know. I know how you feel, I'm covered in them. I can't see any. I know, mine kind of went away when I grew up. I bet yours will too, whatever. She was just glad she wasn't so hot anymore or itchy. Suddenly, Freckle Face Strawberry heard some familiar voices. Freckle Face Strawberry, go down the slide with me. Freckle Face Strawberry, you have to meet the new girl. She wears a ski mask all the time. Freckle Face Strawberry, were you sick? Freckle Face Strawberry, we missed you. Freckle Face Strawberry smiled so wide, she thought she would crack open. She wasn't hot, she wasn't itchy, and she wasn't sad anymore. Who cared about having a million freckles when she had a million friends? And maybe that mom was right and her freckles would go away a little. And Freckle Face Strawberry really was like everybody else. She grew up and her freckles did not go away. But somehow she didn't care so much after all. In fact, she lived happily ever after. I don't see any freckles. Are you sure? Isn't that one? No, that's just a speck of dirt. The end. One thing that I love about this story 
is that it teaches us that no matter what you look like, you are perfect just the way you are, and you are wonderfully made. I hope you all enjoyed this story. I will see you next week for our next book. See you soon. Bye.